In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete all of the new Ruin skin challenges in Fortnite Battle Royale. Completing all of the Discovery skin challenges are going to reward you with new free rewards. Yes, that is right. You can get free rewards for basically doing nothing. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that through the new Ruin skin Discovery challenges. You guys definitely do not want to miss how to unlock these free rewards. It is very simple and easy to unlock these new free rewards for the ruin skin the free rewards include a new back bling and also a new pickaxe i'm honestly very hyped for these new free rewards and you guys definitely should be too these items are very sick and look awesome in game drop this video a like right now if you guys are hyped for these free rewards in fortnite i mean obviously everyone loves free stuff i mean who doesn't so drop this video a like if you guys are in fact getting these free rewards comment down below let me know what platform you guys are playing fortnite on i'm always interested to see what platform you guys are repping when it comes to playing Fortnite. I play on the PS4 myself, but I'm still interested to know what you guys play on, so make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you to everyone who is using my support a creator code in the item shop. If you guys do want to support me, my creator code is hey, it's Ben J. You guys can also get a shout out in my next video as well. If you go on Twitter and follow me, my Twitter handle is hey, it's Ben J. And if you tweet me a picture of you using my support a creator code in the item shop i'll shout you out in my next video and one last thing make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel with notifications on for all of the newest fortnite leaks updates news and more so in order to unlock it the new ruined skin rewards you're gonna have to complete six very simple and easy rewards and today i'm gonna walk through exactly how to complete every single challenge the first challenge you're gonna have to do is to destroy 50 trees now honestly you can destroy trees by pretty much just naturally playing the game i know myself i usually go through like i don't know like 15 to i don't know 30 trees a game maybe but if you guys just want to go directly straight to completing this challenge the most obvious places to land are like in the woods so like lonely lodge dusty divot as well has a ton of trees too however i don't recommend dropping at like the more i don't know like obvious areas i guess because that's where everyone is gonna go when it comes to completing these challenges so honestly if you guys want to complete these challenges the fastest there is a spot near fatal fields where there's literally like a forest of trees and as you guys know literally no one drops at fatal fields like at all you'll see in the gameplay where this is on the map exactly so if you guys just drop there and you guys just grind out hitting all of these trees down you guys can destroy 50 trees pretty fast you guys could probably knock this out in one game i'm not gonna lie like if you really just dedicate one game into destroying trees just straight on then you guys can easily destroy 50 trees in one game and no doubt about that there's also a lot of trees i believe near lazy lagoon and like the northern part of the map like kind of near the block as well there are some forests up there too also if you guys just want to exclude yourself from like everyone on the map you guys can drop on like the farthest edges of the map too i'm pretty sure there are a ton of trees near junk junction and haunted hills and like that part of the map but i would say the best spot to land for this challenge is definitely going to be that spot near fatal fields you can definitely knock out this challenge within one to three games no doubt about that at all the next challenge is to destroy 35 rocks now once again, if you guys dedicate one game into doing this, you guys can definitely knock this out in one game. I recommend it dropping at like those cave spots that are near, I think there's one like north of Loot Lake, if I'm not mistaken. Also, once again, by Fatal Fields, there's another cave there too. And as you guys know, in like those cave spots, there are always like a ton of rocks. So once again, if you just dedicate a game to literally just dropping there, not looting anything at all, and just straight up just hitting rocks the entire time, you can easily destroy 35 rocks in a game or two and any size of rock counts so whether they're like the tiny pebbles or like the bigger rocks like all you have to do is destroy 35 rocks now i'm not sure of any other locations on the map where there are like a ton of rocks the rocks on the map are scattered around the map pretty evenly so if you really wanted to you could drop pretty much anywhere and complete this challenge within a game or two still just by going around and going directly to rocks and really if you get a good enough job you could probably do the destroy trees challenge and the destroy rocks challenge in one game if you get lucky enough like if no one drops at fatal fields at all you can destroy the forest there and also destroy the rocks and like the cave parts of the fatal fields too so those two challenges should not be too hard for you you guys can definitely complete those two within like a few games the next challenge is to destroy cars trucks or rvs now i'd say the best spot to land for this challenge is the rv park which is i believe near lonely lodge if i'm not mistaken you'll see it in the gameplay in the back me dropping there and showing you 
you guys at that park there are literally like i think 10 to 15 rvs and cars alone probably more than that to be honest but that's probably the most obvious spot to land so there's probably going to be a good amount of people landing there just to complete this challenge but once again cars and like rvs and stuff like that are usually scattered around the map pretty evenly i know in retail row there's like four or five cars you can destroy there i think salty might have a few cars too but once again if you guys just want to go straight for the challenge do nothing else besides destroy rvs cars or trucks go straight to the rv park that i mentioned before you guys can definitely knock this challenge out in one game next deal damage to opponent structures you have to deal 10 thousand damage to opponent structures and really to complete this challenge there's no other way of doing this besides just playing the game it's as simple as that there's nothing really you can do there's no like secret places to drop or secret places to land to do this challenge you just have to deal damage to opponent structures i guess my one tip for this challenge would be to drop at the most popular spots on the map so obviously you know tilted retail loot lake too salty springs as well it also depends on like where the bus is going for a specific game but doing this will obviously deal a lot more damage faster so you guys can complete this challenge a lot quicker but honestly the best way to complete this challenge is just by playing the game naturally over time you're going to be dealing damage to opponent structures and sooner or later you're going to be completing this challenge probably without even knowing the next challenge is to outlast one thousand opponents now although 1000 opponents may seem like a lot in retrospect this is probably going to be anywhere from like 15 to i don't know upwards of 25 games just depending on how well you do for outlasting opponents i definitely recommend solos because people die a lot quicker in solos you can't do this in other game modes too i mean once again you're going to naturally complete this challenge probably without even knowing similar to the uh deal damage to opponent structures uh challenge but i guess one tip i would have for you guys if you really are like that bad and just don't want to fight at all and strictly just want to play the game to outlast opponents really just drop on the outer edges of the map where no one drops at all just loot up and slowly make your way to each circle although that would be so boring to do that's probably the best way of going about this challenge and completing it the fastest so you got spots like the block lazy lagoon haunted hills junk junction snobby shores all that kind of stuff on the edges of the map just drop at any of those locations get a good enough loot stock up on health shield you know good weapons all of that stuff and just camp it out until you either win or make it to top 10 top 10 top 3 whatever it is once again this will probably take you anywhere from like 12 to 15 maybe upwards of like 25 games just once again depending on how well you do in each game the next challenge is to complete daily challenges for this you have to complete five daily challenges now daily challenges are usually very simple and easy to do sometimes daily challenges are even like outlasting opponents and like making it to top 10 in squads or like top 20 in solos or whatever there's also some pretty simple challenges like getting eliminations with an smg or getting eliminations with a pistol those are usually the types of challenges that are given out with the daily challenges so for this i really don't have any tips or tricks to show you guys but obviously you guys know the daily challenges usually aren't that hard once again you guys probably complete daily challenges without even knowing like they're a challenge in itself so after you complete all six of the ruined skin challenges you're going to be rewarded with two free rewards after you complete three out of the six of those ruined skin challenges you're going to be rewarded with the dying light back bling this is a legendary back bling which obviously goes along with the discovery skin and honestly this is definitely like a top 10 maybe even like a top five back bling in my book like it looks like a really cool like i don't even know how to describe it like is that like metal is that like i don't even know it looks like bone even there's also like a glowing molten red hot center to it as well it's a very cool design i really like this back bling i can guarantee you guys the dying light back bling is going to go well with a lot of skins i think not only the ruin skin but also the prisoner skin as well it'll look really cool with that also tried it on with the uh, the john wick skin too it looks very nice on that as well pretty much any darker skin i guess like any skin that's wearing black or just dark clothes in general i think this back bling is going to look very nice with those types of skins and once you complete all six of the ruin skin challenges you're going to be rewarded with the dread pickaxe yes that is right a free pickaxe for doing these simple and easy challenges this pickaxe also goes along with the theme of like the ruined skin and the ruined back bling too got that really cool bone metal looking texture and it also has like a glowing molten red hot center to it too the handle also has some accents of like that lava texture too i'm a fan of like simplistic looking pickaxes similar to this one so honestly i can't wait to unlock this and it's even better just because it's free like you don't have to pay any amount of money for this you can unlock this pickaxe from 
from literally just playing the game, which is my favorite part about these challenges. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching this video covering all of the new ruin skin challenges and all of the new free rewards in Fortnite Battle Royale. Drop this video a like if you guys did enjoy. Also, let me know in the comments if you did enjoy. Check out my last video. There's going to be a link to it in the description. And also, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel with notifications on. And yeah, that's been it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.